through a creative form and in this video I'm going to be making over our patio for the springtime and I cannot believe I am saying this next sentence y'all but this video is sponsored by Target y'all ain't gotta ask me if I love Target if you know me in my personal life or if you've seen me on my Instagram you know I love love Target y'all should see my financial statements it's like Target <laughs> but this only happened because of you guys so thank you so much for all the support that you constantly give over my Instagram and YouTube In this video I'm going to be providing you all with three design styles for a small space using products from Target Spring Collection if you all haven't seen my other video where I show you the ins and out of the patio what it looked like before and how we designed it check that video out first before you come to this one so my husband and I we live in a rental apartment and our balcony is extremely tiny we don't even have your standard small balcony we have a Juliet balcony which is known to fit maybe two people so to find products that fit our patio is very challenging but I'm going to take you all through the entire process I'm going to show you the products that I picked out and how to design a small space and this is going to be great for you guys who live in a rental home or an apartment and if your space doesn't fit in this category I still believe that you'll be able to benefit just from seeing patio design styles and to see the beautiful decor and furniture pieces and accessories that I picked out so if you have not done so definitely hit that subscribe button and if you like what you see throughout this video definitely give it a thumbs up and y'all I am so excited let's jump into the video went out today to go to three different targets to pick up all of the patio furniture there are some that's going to be shipped in throughout the week but you have the option to ship it to the store and pick it up or sit in your car and they bring it out to you which is helpful in this situation as I mentioned I had to go to Target for my order pickups but while I was there I stopped by the outdoor patio section and this collection this year blew my mind y'all it's designed to elevate and give your outdoor a warm weather refresh and hopefully to inspire you to create a beautiful outdoor oasis that's unique to you, functional and at a great price. Target has an extensive range of outdoor patio pieces from colorful rugs and mats, gardening tools, weather resistant outdoor dining and furniture sets, faux plants that look so authentic and patio umbrellas, literally everything you need for your outdoor area all in one place. Every single one of their pieces is unique and you will see with the items that I picked out. Just picked up my first set of products from Target. Super, super excited. People probably think that I have a shopping problem. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. It's like Christmas Day with all these boxes. So this is exciting because I was not expecting the majority of the products to come in today. They were supposed to come trickled in every day throughout this week. So the fact that I'm getting the majority of it ahead of time, thank you Target. <laughs> So one of the items that I'm just really excited to show y'all is this white planter. I think it's so gorgeous. It's ceramic. I love the detailing on it. Like, very different and unique. I usually always just get basic planters or I DIY my own, but this one is an eight inch one. And so I went out and bought a cacti. I really wanted the typical like Texas cacti, the one that's like up and they have two arms sticking out. I wanted that one, but I don't think I can really find that anywhere. But I found an even cuter one. Let me show you all how it looks. You guys, look at it. Oh my gosh. Let me know down below if y'all have the same amount of excitement when you find a plant that fits in a beautiful pot. Do you ever like order things and you know it's coming, but when they put it in a different size box, you forget what you purchased? And it's just like a game trying to figure out, okay, what is in what box? chose these items I kept in mind I have a small balcony and I want these items to be able to fit 
but I also want to show you all that you can have a small space and it can still be stylish. It's almost been like an anticipation game with all of the big items. So far the first set patio set fits, the second patio set fits, and this third one, this one here is the one I'm a little concerned about, but so far Target hasn't let me down. <laughs> and I measured this balcony like 40,000 times. I think it's gonna fit. I feel like Rattan is coming back. It really made its wave last year. So I'm really excited to be able to bring this style into our balcony. Does this chair fit on our balcony? Yeah, it's literally about to storm. We are just gonna pick this up on another day because it's supposed to storm for the next three days. That's Texas for you. High steps for making sure that your patio doesn't become cluttered. Think practicality before design. Yes, I love a beautiful design space, but it does you no good if it's cluttered and filled with a bunch of stuff and you can't even use it for its purpose. Y'all, the tree is back there and it is massive. I had to push up my driver's seat so far up, like nobody is safe enough to sit in it. <laughs> I played around with all three styles and so far, y'all, they look so good. I cannot wait to show y'all how it turns out. I really wanted our patio to be practical, but beautiful and functional because at the end of the day, we will be using this balcony and I know if it works for us, I want to make sure that I give you all legit ways to style a balcony, but it still be practical. Y'all, it's such a beautiful day outside. I'm going to keep the privacy curtain up and the turf down. It did me really good, especially during our hurricane season. So there's no reason to take it down. I just have to go back and cut some of the zip ties and re-secure the bottom part. But for the most part, we are going to start with a blank canvas. The first design style that I want to bring you all, we're going to call this one the Jungle Bohemian. And this one is going to start off with your focal pieces, which are going to be two poofs. And I love these items because they're large poofs that you can either rest your feet on or you can sit on them. And this one is going to be very cozy, lots of greenery, and just very relaxed and laid back. So we're going to be starting off this first look by adding these leaf shaped string lights. And they're LED, so they're gonna be a little bit brighter and they do have a warmer tone. And these will pop against our screen protector but look really nice at night. And I cannot wait to add plants to our balcony seeing that we don't have a garden. And I just thought that it would make the experience of hanging outdoors even more relaxing. For our seating, we're gonna add these poofs as a playful vibe. And one thing to keep in mind, because the poofs are close to the ground, I made sure I didn't decorate anything higher because realistically, we will have to push the poofs out to get up, you know? So all the decor that I did use was minimal just to maintain that consistency. And then tied it in with this beautiful marble table. And this is a piece I can see myself using indoor as well. Like I already have plans for it. <laughs> But this vibe is definitely giving me a vacation, playful, and very chill. tribal. I think Afrocentric meets Paris with this geometric style and bistro look. I think you should have a cup of tea. <laughs> so this is going to be a very effortlessly style. Starting off again by hanging these striped black string lights on our balcony railing for some charm. And one of my favorite things about this set is that the chair and the table folds, making setting up and breaking down that much easier. And the fact that this entire matching set fits on our balcony is beyond me. And because it's made for a smaller space, storing these should be a breeze. I went ahead and added that small accent table to the end of our balcony to hold some plants, coaster, and it's just really nice to have it if I needed extra tabletop space. 
And to add color and comfort, I included the terracotta color throw pillows. They're just so beautiful. And then the faux palm tree that looks so real, y'all. But it just really helped break up this neutral color palette. This style is definitely more sophisticated with this brown and black geometric designs. It's definitely giving me a bistro vibe. When you're styling a small space such as our size, focus on the larger and primary pieces first, such as the seating, the accent table, and then decorate afterwards. I love a cozy ambience, especially at night. So fill it up with faux candles, lanterns, bring the entire space together. And choose items with character, with bold colors, or that's unique. You may have less in the space, but your color palette, the texture, the prints, will speak volume on its own. And this final style, we are gonna call this one in Living Tropical. This one has a mix of tropical design with natural elements. So opposed to the two previous patio styles, the seat in this third design style fits snug on our patio. I'm going to be showing you two alternatives to the third design. Single and a double option, whether you live alone or you want to include a brand. To cozy up your space, add a lot of green, whether they're faux or real. These rattan chairs elevated this space so much with this wicker design. It's super comfortable. I like to joke and say that it hugs us <laughs> because of their wide back and round shape. Y'all, I'm pairing these rattan chairs with this accent table that is so gorgeous. But what makes it even more incredible, y'all, it has storage. It has storage, which is a plus for small spaces, especially this balcony where we cannot fit anything else. But the fact that we have an accent table that also acts as a storage piece, that's it. That is all you need. <laughs> I love a fiddle leaf, but they are fickle and they're very hard to maintain. However, I was really happy when I found this large faux fiddle leaf. And it acts not only as a decorative piece and of course bringing color to your balcony, but we get a little extra privacy. When it rains, it pours in Texas. So many of the pieces that I've shared amongst the three styles are either weather and or rust resistant. You can just check on Target's website and it will let you know under the product what it is. But this is great to know that many of Target's outdoor patio pieces have a protective detailing. And as mentioned earlier, if you are concerned with spacing, here is a single seating alternative. Remove one of the rattan chairs and then move the barrel to one in the balcony and style it. And then use a poof from the first style as a footrest or an ottoman and there's your extra storage. Of course, whenever I get the chance, I'm adding more plants. I love this faux wood and texture planter as it makes the space even more stylish. This is another favorite as I can simply see myself outside early in the morning, drinking some tea, journaling, relaxing, and taking in the morning air. styles you know i want to ask you which one was your favorite comment down below if i had to choose one of my favorites because it was hard it was hard and i'm not gonna try to be biased because i designed it i think it would have to be an afrocentric style the black and brown three-piece patio set first of all the fact that the whole set's 
fit on our patio. This was a game changer, a game changer. So now that you see that you can achieve a beautiful patio in a small space, I hope that these design ideas and tips will give you ideas for your own space. Definitely check out Target's new spring collection. It's in stores, on their website, and every single product is linked down below. I will also be sharing it over on my Instagram at JessFanaCatherine. You guys, have an amazing day, and thank you all again so much for this opportunity, and thank you, Target. And as always, I will talk to you all later.